episode of Number Six with Cheese is made possible by the one and only Mr. Courtney Basinger. Woo! The big dog, Mr. Yo. Courtney Basinger. Courtney. All right, Courtney is uh, wants a wheel spin, and he's gonna do, go ahead and let's uh, see what food he ordered. He signed up to actually do the live food review, and it was gonna be too long to get a delivery, so we're doing a full-on episode. He was already kind of kind of asking about the Detroit-style pizza from Pizza Hut, which we reviewed like seven months ago. It's back; you can customize it. So, Courtney, this is for you and all of you guys. This is made possible by Courtney. So today, Detroit-style pizza, Pizza Hut, it's back. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, guys, one of the Detroit-style pizzas from Pizza Hut, customized by us, acquired Jump Cut. All right, Courtney, I know you're watching closely. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, see what we got? Boom, Detroit-style pizza. Look at the sauce on top. We got jalapenos on there. You're seeing a little bit of pepperonis. And I feel like Sean said bacon. Mm -hmm. I do see it. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I see bacon. Delicious. Yeah, this baby was $13.99 for three toppings. Eight slices. There you go. Boom. Gotta go corner first. Got to. Not fools. No. I'm a moron in a lot of aspects of my life, but not that. Okay, Detroit style pizza. Second time around. Cheers. Cheers. Pizza Hut. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, it's good. I know. I haven't gotten the sauce yet, but first few bites are basically just cheese bread. And I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's better, this or Jets. I know, me too. My gut says Jets. Me too. But hey, my gut's been wrong before. Absolutely. I think I would just like the overall taste and crunch of Jets better. Mm-hmm. But this has got to be cheaper, man. $13.99 for eight slices. I feel like in yeah. Jets, it's always 20, it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, 20, 21 bucks. Uh -huh. crazy. But that doesn't leave and come back. That's always around whenever mm -hmm. you need it. This is like, we had it in February and it was like gone in March. Yeah, this is more like one of them crappy dads. <laughs> Comes and goes. Always in and out of the picture. Stays for a month. Takes you to Cedar Point and you don't see him again for a decade. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> such a liar. You, you told me to be quiet. No, be respectful liar. yourself. I know that's difficult. I like the customization, too. Me, too. Tell me I can throw jalapenos and bacon and pepperoni on my pizza. Yeah. That's some of my favorite things in life. It absolutely is. I almost suggested, but we're actually doing it for a local review here soon. I almost wanted to put meatballs on this bad boy. Because I think Pizza Hut has one of the better meatballs, meatballs? in the game. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh -huh. Rarely do I like meatballs on a pizza, but sometimes I do. Yeah. When they do it right, I've had it once before, probably with you. Yep. And I enjoyed it. That was my first time to pop my meatball cherry for Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been leaning towards that for a topping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be careful, though. Just because you have relations with one girl is great doesn't mean the next one's going to be. So maybe you got to stick to the same brand. That's but a good I'm, I've had some, some meatballs mm -hmm. at other spots, bro. They weren't very good. But hey, only one way to find out. Go Keep out there and have sex with as many women as you can. <laughs> Keep having sex with as many meatballs as you can. I can dig my plan for you, stupid. Oh, we got a bad tear. We got a bad tear. It wasn't fully cut. No, it is. I can see it. I'm just a bad terror. See, I tried to blame someone else. Whatever. Oh my god. I kind of rebounded, but not great. Kind of rebounded? <laughs> In what way? The only good thing about that was that I at least like got my hands out of that box and didn't have to wa make you watch me any longer. No, that was, I watched long enough. <laughs> I appreciate you're trying to find a silver lining of that carnage you just did that slice. Right. But I got a uh, big good friend to tell you, there's no silver lining to that. <laughs> that was just a crash and a burn. That was a crash and a burn. Yeah. But that's like whoever built that big giant blimp that blew up, uh -huh. Hindenburg. If he was like, oh, at least it was kind of cool watching, you know, it was made for like, <laughs> almost like fireworks, right? Everyone's looking at him like, no, it wasn't it like It was fireworks. horrible. <laughs> good little kick on his jalapenos. I think I really like Pizza Hut's jalapenos. I got them too. Good kick to them. They're not overly pickled, where I like taste just sheer vinegar. Mm-hmm. I feel like the they worst. do a good job. Um, oh, it's not the worst. There's cancer out there in the world, but yeah, that sucks. That's great. One thing this pizza got a lot of hate for when it was out last time was people didn't like the flavor of the ladled on sauce. I, yeah, that's my one drawback. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it either. But I don't love it. I'm definitely not like. It's better with the jalapenos. They like. Yeah. I don't taste as much because the jalapenos are so overpowering the flavor. I think this pizza is like an absolute home run. I think the price is good. Mm-hmm. 
The caramelization, the crunch, like mm -hmm. for a fast food kind of pizza spot, perfect. And I don't mind the taste of the sauce. I know people don't mm -hmm. like it. It doesn't hinder my experience of enjoying this pizza at all. I think Courtney's a, a home run of a fan. Yeah, he's also, I feel like, on the cutting edge of the uh, food stuff pretty quickly. He's normally dropping stuff in Discord before I've even heard about it. There you go. That's a genius. Thanks, Courtney. Man, what an all-star crew for uh, the Saturday before last live show. Awesome turnout. Yeah, we ate some MVPs. Like yeah. we said in the intro, or Sean said in the intro. Mm -hmm. That's why we're reviewing this. And if you guys didn't turn out for that, you're fools. It was a great time. You got to watch me be sad because the Buckeyes suck at football. And you also got to watch me uh, be a degenerate drunk because the Buckeyes <laughs> suck at football. So it was pretty pretty great. It was a good Saturday overall. Guys, don't forget to like this video, um, especially because for people like Courtney and all the fans and stuff that like this show, for all of you new people that are maybe finding this, a huge way to help this show, if you're like we said, if you're new, is to like this video. That helps a lot. Other people get to see it. You get more fans coming in who love Detroit-style pizza, fast food reviews, the local videos on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So please like this video. And then today, we love to interact with you guys. We've been doing this commenting thing on every video. So today's comment. How about this? Are you pro or anti the red stripe? Oh, I like that a lot. Because I think people from Detroit are pro it just by the nature of Definitely. it. You know, you grew up with it. Mm -hmm. I, I care less. Okay. It wasn't part of my childhood experience, so I don't have like that uh, connection to it. Mm -hmm. I could care less about that sauce. That's a really good comment. But okay. I'm still for it because I do like marinara. Love that comment. Comment below. Are you for it or are you against it? Just what are your thoughts on the stripes of sauce on top of the pizza? Because keep in mind, true Detroit style pizza has no sauce below the cheese. That's right. Yeah, Jets or Pizza Hut style. Yeah, that's a great point. All right guys, food review is done. Before we go ahead and rate that pizza the second time around, now that we've gotten to customize it, Let's do a shout out. Merch out of merch out of merch out. Number six with cheese.com. That's our website. We got shirts and hot sauce, hats, koozies, stickers, bottle openers, all kinds of stuff. And we love to give shout outs to the people that support the show. If you buy something, we're going to give you a shout out. If you want the fastest shout out possible, get the hot sauce subscription. You save 25%. You jump to the front of the front of the line. So today, two names of folks that bought off the website. And merch out of number one goes to Mr. Damien Wilson. <laughs> Damien got three bottles of Sixer sauce. We sent that to Holland, Michigan. Uh, hope you devoured those and hope you got uh, restocked up, Mr. Damien. Thanks for the support. Holland, top five city in Michigan for me. Love it. Wow. Love it there. A lot of good cities, but let's. Only crack in the top five. There's only like eight cities no, in the state. No, there's so bro. many good, like northern like, Michigan and western Holland, Michigan. You gotta step it up, bro. <laughs> Detroit, Ann Arbor, and then nothing else. No, Ann Arbor's the bottom for sure. I mean, I'll answer your questions, not your insults. So. Merch shout out number two goes to a dear, dear friend of mine, Mr. Jeff Goodman. <laughs> Jeff and I went to college together. We lived just, we lived in the same house in college and then lived just down the street from each other after college. One of the best guys just found out he's having a kid, which is amazing. He's very excited about that. Supports my brother, has gone to wrestling shows and stuff like that. Just a dear, dear friend, great guy, one of my favorite people. Jeff, thanks for buying three bottles. Uh, I hope Royal Oak, Michigan, if you're still living there, is treating you well because that's where your address was when you bought it. Uh, shout out to you, good friend. All right, here we go. Time to rate it. Out of five. Because it's like a big thing between Canada and Detroit, and I've, I've traveled over it uh, on trips to both Detroit and Canada, out of five Ambassador Bridges, how many Ambassador Bridges do you give the Detroit-style pizza, the one we had here today had the cured pepperonis, bacon and jalapenos, $13.99, Corey? Uh, it was delicious. It was very, very good. I don't think that I really cared for the sauce last time, but I didn't notice it. I noticed it a little bit, but not really as much as I did this time around. I don't know if that, I'm assuming that was maybe the jalapenos, but ah, man, that just tells me you should add jalapenos to your pizzas. It <laughs> made it better, I think. Uh, very great. Crust could have been a little crispier. All in all though, for that price, it's pretty unbelievable to get a Detroit style pizza that big for 13 bucks. I'm gonna give that a 4.5. That's gonna be my score. The only downfall I'm giving them today for that was I would have loved it in the oven for maybe one more minute. Mm -hmm. A little bit crispier. I think it should be served, like a lot of times people always say like, oh, whenever I get stuff from this specific place, I always ask for it well done. This might be one of those things where you might wanna get it like well done. I think they leave it in for a minute or two longer. That more crunch would have put that even higher. I'm also going 4.5. I think, uh, I think that's a must get. If that's something they're taking away this fall again, I'd say snag that. Uh, we put up a poll on Instagram, on our Instagram, to ask how many people who follow us, if you don't follow us, follow us, have had that before, now that it's the second iteration. And right now, only 17% of our followers have had it. And wow. I thought that was very surprising. So um, guys, don't forget to comment if you like the stripe, the red sauce stripe on top of the pizzas. And we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're going to Lardon, Lardone, 
uh, supposed to be one of the hottest restaurants right now, according to Chicago Magazine, in the top 10 list. So, see you tomorrow. Thanks for rocking with us. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.